Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis and this is our Angular 15 Material UI tutorial. And in this video we can see one of the concept using Mad Dialog component. So already I have created one separate video using this Mad Dialog. So this is the continuation of the video. And this application created based on my last video. Okay, if you want to watch that video, I will share that link in the description. You have to watch it. And here this add user and also the edit we have implemented this uh, model pop-up using this mad dialog component. So similarly, I'm going to implement one more functionality. So that is actually detail. Okay. I'm going to include one more button here. So, so once I click the button, I'm going to show the individual customer information in the pop-up. Okay. First of all, let me tell you why I'm creating this video. So I got on request. So can we use multiple pop-up in the same page? Yes, obviously we can use. For explaining this concept only, I'm going to include this detail functionality, okay? So now let me start the implementation. For this grid and everything it is loaded from our table component. If you are following my material UI tutorial, you will know. So in this table component, I'm going to include one more button, okay? So we can provide the name as detail and the function is detail customer. So let me copy this function and we can create it here. We can duplicate the function and we can rename it, okay? And if you check this function, we are calling one more function. It's called open pop-up. So in this open pop-up, we have two input. One is title and another one is the code. So here uh, we are using this dialog. So dialog basically uh, we are injected in our constructor. So dialog is nothing but our mad dialog. Okay. So it's having the open functionality. So in this open functionality, we are passing one of the component. And additionally, we have some properties like a width and animation. And if required, we have to pass some data also. For the current scenario, we are passing this title and code, okay? So this is all about the opening pop-up. And also, once you are closing the pop-up, if you want to execute some other functionalities or else if you want to get some data, so we can use this area, okay? So as of now, we have to open the pop-up only. So the first thing is we need one more component. Okay. So let me create a new component here. ng generate component. So we are going to generate inside the folder of component. And our common name is user detail. Okay. Okay. We have created the component. Here I'm going to include one H2 tag. User details, okay. So now in our table component, I'm going to alter this open pop-up, okay. Already we have two parameters. I'm going to include one more parameter. That is component. Any. So now instead of the pop-up component we can pass this value and also in our edit customer we can pass our pop-up component so similarly in our add customer also so in this detail customer function we can use the user detail component okay so now there is no issue. So let me save this one. We can verify whether it is working or not. So there is no error. So already we have this edit function. So similarly we have this detail. See. So the pop-up is opened. As of now uh, we have this user details only. So the next thing is uh, we are passing the code, right? So the customer code we are passing. So based on the code, we can fetch the user or customer details and we have to display in our pop-up, okay? So let me go back to our component. And here we can create one constructor. So here we can inject mat dialog data using this inject mat dialog data so 
so similarly we can inject the mat dialog ref also so that is used for closing or pop up this one okay and here we can pass our component that's it so the basic things we have done so next we can implement ng awning hook So here we have to get our code value so that actually passed from our table component. So I'm going to declare one variable here. So this dot input data is so equal to data. Next I am checking whether it is the code have the value. So in this past this scenario we can call our service so before that let me inject the service also private service and our service name is master service okay and here so let me call our services get customer by code and here we can pass this code value so let me subscribe this one and declaring one more parameter so here we can assign so whatever data we are getting from our services okay so let me format this one so currently we have the data now let me focus on the designing part for the designing purpose let me take the reference from our pop-up component so we can copy the complete code after that we can alter it so the first thing this form is not required at the end also we can remove it and this content area we can remove all the items so input data so let me verify the variable name yeah so that also fine and here this and the save button is not required and also we have to define this close pop-up function okay so using our mat dialog ref i'm just closing this pop-up okay so if you want to pass some data here we can pass so as of now let me provide us the empty value or else we can give from closing from detail So let me see the output once again. See now the customer detail and also the close button is coming. So next we can bind all the values one by one. I am going to use one h2 tag. So the customer name we can use one bold tag and then let me use the ender position and our variable name is cust data dot name so if i'm checking now see i'm getting the customer name janice so if i'm clicking this complete yeah the complete is coming so i'm going to include the other fields also okay totally five fields I have included customer email phone
and what are the other information we are having yeah status and code maybe we can provide the up to status okay you know so if I'm taking some other records back to you okay our detail functionality is completed so using this way we can open multiple pop-up in the same component itself okay and also we can apply lot of customization so as of now this function uh, we are passed our component also a parameter similarly for the other properties such as uh, with the height animation it's all about the requirement okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching